A variable can be used anywhere within the workflow. We'll set up a contract management workflow that automatically renames, stores, and routes a generated contract through approval, negotiation, and e-signature. In this example, a customer name variable was created and assigned the customer name document generation form field value. Continue building the workflow by using the customer name variable to keep track of workflow activities. Use the customer's name to indicate whose contract is being processed by the workflow. From the Steps tab, search for the Update Information step. Drag and drop the step into the Workflow Designer canvas. The Update Information step displays useful workflow information in the Info column of the Workflows Activity page. For example, configure this workflow to display the customer's name for which the current workflow is executing. Enter a description for this step. This step shows the name of the customer as stored in the customer name variable. In the Information field, specify the information that this workflow step should update or display. We mentioned that this step should show the name of the customer. To indicate this, look for the customer name variable from the list of variables. Drag and drop the customer name variable into the information field. Add the connections between the workflow steps. Select Updated if the customer name field was successfully updated in the Update Variable Value step. The workflow proceeds to the next step. Click Save to save changes to the workflow. Click Create and Publish Versions to activate the workflows. Track workflow executions by navigating to Admin, Workflows, then to the Activity tab. Here is an example of a workflow that is currently processing a contract for a customer. We use the value stored in the customer name variable to update this info column. Using the customer name variable in this workflow step provides the administrator visibility into the contract status of a particular customer.